372nd meeting between the Aggies and Longhorns. And a true freshman from San Antonio out of Johnson High School. He misses with the fastball. Second full count this inning. And it results in the second walk this inning. 2-1 to Antico. Pulls it to the right side. A roller for Ty Coleman. And AM will get out of it without any damage. No runs or hits with two walks and two stranded. AM nearly did it. Blomp touches this one into left center field, and he's aboard with a leadoff single. Average with 33 home runs. Brazil opposite field, line drive, and that'll put two on with nobody out. Dancing off second is Blom. Come back here, and Texas will escape after the first two reached. Hansen needs just three pitches to dispatch the next three ag. Line drive, left field. Base hit for Zach Zubia, one of the few remaining players from the last Longhorn College World Series team. Baltini swings at the second. Shallow center, here comes Alejo in no man's land, and he'll take it and avoid Ty Coleman. Different for each individual, right? Hit by pitch, put Smith the ball. In that time, I'm not exactly sure the correlation between foot size and height, but. <laughs> well, we'll work on it. There's a ratio, I guarantee. Another one stranded, each side has left. To the Dodgers, and of course, all the moves the Padres made. They'll throw down to first to finish the strikeout, and the throw was good. So, another K for Detmer. He has settled into his. Big swing and a miss, and both starting pitchers, they look like Friday night aces, not midweek starters. How about public? I'm all in. <laughs> Pull to the left side, and that one will find a hole. Arjuan has reached base safely. Already twice in this game. <laughs> Runner goes. Throw is oh, low, but in time. And Mike and Tico caught stealing for just the third time this season. How about the arm from Mikey Horner? Do it, Mikey Horner. Sometimes you go with the chest pass, Tommy, but sometimes you go with the bounce pass right <laughs> on the base to get the Aggies off the field. To go play summer ball. They come back in the fall, and wow, this one's launched to left by Britt. Gone. Mm. Hit it right into the middle of the party. No, I don't think that was horns down. I think we're still too early in the party for a horns down, but definitely a statement here by Logan Britt. A cut fastball that he's trying to run in on the hands of Logan Britt, and he does a really nice job. Watch how close the arms stay to the body. So you, you, you turn the corner there with your hands, get that barrel inside the ball, and then the extension to keep it fair and produce that spin. That ball is smoke. I guess there's a, there's a netting there over that left field wall that Keeps it from going into the crowd. Smith was hit by pitch his first time up. And he sends a line drive into right field. That'll get down. You mentioned that Williams will be tested with Hanson on the bump as a as an infielder. 3-0 to Honer. Didn't catch the plate. And that'll start the ball chant here in College Station. <laughs> Big swing and a miss. Pete Hansen trying to find some momentum. Line drive, knock, and Daly motors around first, wide turn. He'll head back to the bag with a leadoff single. That was the highlight. Behind first, who wants it? Coleman or Frizzell? Second baseman will take it. How about you take it? Austin Bose is 0 for 2. And he skies this one to left field. And Kennedy racing over, and but it will be the left fielder 
him. Good one there. We got we got a couple of uh, big rivalry Tuesday games. Fifth strikeout for Detmer. It's just so much fun. Off the end of the bat, Britt in right in front of those packed stands of the 12th man. The overalls with no undershirt. And here comes the chain. Ground ball to the right side, gets through. Britt on his way. Nope, stumbles coming around uh -oh. second. Was and he got tagged out as he tried to swim his way back to the bag. We get a lot going on here. Yeah, we do. First of all, an incredible piece of hitting right there by Ray Alejo on a backside bullet on a two-strike pitch. But then credit Hodo and Faltini there. But look, I mean, ooh, that was close. The move by that a lot around the country. Runner goes, throw to second, not in time, and it's a stolen base for Alejo. Seen a few catchers go with the bounce pass tonight, Tommy. You see Arduan who bounces this one right on the money. And again, the the oh stumble coming off the secondary, and it's a strikeout to end the inning anyway. Just foul. And then he goes that swing, and the pitcher strikes out. It called because he's a super talented prospect that they have on the weekends right now. There's Alejo in straightaway center, and Detmer has retired eight in a row. And Holder drives it deep to left field, gone in a hurry. You know, they say light pole power. That one bounced off of the light pole, bubbles all around. It's not light pole power, Tommy. It's light tower power. Mikey Honer with some light tower power, a bat flip. And if you remember, Tanner Witt had a little something to say at the end of the last inning. We love the emotion of this rivalry. And now it's Mikey Honer's turn as he hits a rocket off of the light tower. <laughs> Witt, growing up in such an athletic family, mom played softball at Texas, dad. Played a long time in the big leagues and in, in. foul territory on the right side. Witt is there, calls off his catcher, and they let it drop. But again, Tanner Witt being a two-way kid, I'm sure they've given him some leeway to, to make those calls. No, because Williams is short, right? Went on the breaking ball, they'll throw down to first to finish the strikeout. And that will end the seventh. Got him swinging a 92, 44th strikeout of the season for Joe's Walk. Three. Pulled to the left side, smothered by Blom. He stays on platform. One, two, three frame. Something like that. Then they won 23 in a row with gold jerseys. Dustin Thompson goes down swinging. The year after that, they lighter hadn't allowed an extra base hit all year. No, Four pitch no, walk, chant coming. Below two. Quintanilla delivers. And there it is at curveball again. Raging round three. Dove four and took away. Spiked it. Runner headed to second. And we'll stop there. Back to the fastball for the strikeout. He K's two. Aggie strand one. Got him. Go for 10 tonight. And that'll continue. Now 0 for 11. Back-to-back -back cage for Joe's Walk and the Longhorns down to their last out. 3-2 to Arduan. Fought off into right field. There's a base hit for Texas, and they'll bring the tying run to the plate in the ninth. The call goes which way. Breaking ball pounded up the middle. Coleman is there. 
Texas A&M with a shutout. Joe's luck goes horns down. And the Aggies will celebrate a win against their rivals.